Hello again and welcome back. Uh, more on how to find out how much isolation you need. Uh, I was talking about resonance. Resonance plays a part in everything that you do. Not only your isolation, but your acoustics and your musical instruments and vocals and everything. So this is, it's important that um, when building your walls, you have to take an account of resonance and, and resonance changes when you it, double the air gap. That's why they, they say by doubling the air gap you get twice as much isolation because it lowers that resonance by so much. Um, I've got a spreadsheet here. Uh, I'll, I'll record some of this and uh, share this with you. Um, here's an example of, uh, of a spreadsheet here that I've got. I, I use this as a MAM calculator or a membrane calculator. Here we have, I, I plugged in a couple of numbers. Uh, we have, I, excuse me, it's all in metric for you US people. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, metric's so much easier to work with. We should all go to that. Look, here, I've gone, gone over here. I'm going to zoom in this uh, right here. This is a little weight density calculator. Okay, say we got a block, a cement block that's 20 centimeters high, 15 centimeters wide, and 40 centimeters long. And it weighs 22 kilos. So that gives us a density of, of 1900 kilograms per cubic meter, and that's this silicate block, okay? And at 15 centimeters thick, that's Let's say that's about five and a half inches, okay? Uh, we got 285 kilos per square meter. Uh, no, not that. Never mind. Here we go. No, I don't want that there. Sorry. Here we go. Let's go up here. So that was 285. And then we got an air gap of, let's call it six centimeters, okay? Look at that. With this weight, we get a resonance of 12 hertz. Now, if we put insulation in between the, the partitions, that, that gives us a resonance of 12 and a working, lowest working frequency of 12, uh, 17. So we're down nicely at 20 hertz, okay? Without any, without any insulation in there, it's still 14 hertz, and it gets us pretty much to 20 hertz without any insulation in there. Pretty damn good. All right, now look at this. Let's go with a regular fire rated gypsum board right here. Let's say we got uh, three layers of five eighths, okay? Three layers of five eighths, that's 16 each, 316, 48, 48 millimeters thick. That gives us a weight of 32 kilos, 32.45, 32.45, per square meter. And let's make the gap, see the gap here? Usually between gypsum board partitions with something like this, you're gonna use a couple of two by sixes. That's five and a half, five and a half, and a two inch air gap. So that's 11 plus two, uh, that's 13 inches. 13 inches is times two by four, four. That's 330 millimeters. 330 millimeters, and look, we got 15 hertz. If it's if the partitions are filled with insulation, that gets us down to pretty much 20 hertz right there. See? So it, it depends on resonance. Everything depends on resonance. And I, I would I highly recommend that you calculate the resonance of the partition based on the mass. You can get this spreadsheet right here. You can get this from my resources page. So calculate your mass and your airspace, of course, it, it should be damped. Look at the difference. See, from 26 hertz to about 22 hertz. It makes a big difference. Uh, so fill it up with insulation. That will lower your, uh, uh, make your transmission loss much higher and get you good soundproofing. Anyway, so one thing I want to add too is the use of specialty products is honestly often not necessary uh, for example if you use a specialty foam caulk 
or constrained layer damping material like green glue or, or the like between the gypsum board and the studs. It really does nothing. The, uh, for, its, for example, uh, CLDM, like green glue, is used between large panels where they're sandwiched together and it acts as a constrained layer damping material. This works. It, 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 it does good. I, I rarely use it on any of my builds, but it does work. Uh, another thing uh, that's often considered by many is the use of, of mass-loaded vinyl. Uh, it comes under many names uh, from different companies. And a lot of companies are promoting the sale of this stuff for use under your floor. You know, you put that down and you put your floor boards on top of it, or you put it in between uh, drywall pieces or, or you put it on your studs before you put your drywall in. Any of these cases, if you use that stuff like that, doesn't work. It's just a waste of money, okay? A limp, a heavy limp mass, mass-loaded vinyl or the like, must remain limp. If you were to build a tent completely sealed with limp, uh, with, with uh, uh, mass-loaded vinyl, or even two layers, one in a room in a room with only MLV on a frame. The frames don't touch. You could, I, I've heard testing done with like an explosion outside and a microphone inside or a person inside, they can't hear it. It's, it's unbelievable. This is amazing. Now, if you can build your walls with MLV and put, it's, it's difficult to do. We've done two jobs like that and it's, not easy to DIY, so consider that. Anyway, talk to you again soon. Please subscribe, and more to come. Cheers.